Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brenda or also known as Cozyaholic and I just wanted to kind of give you guys a collective haul of everything that I've been putting together for my spring decorating, which I'm super excited about. I hope you guys stick around and anyways, we're gonna go ahead and hop right into this haul. All right, so we're gonna hop right into the Studio McGee and Magnolia stuff that I picked up. I feel like that's probably the, the reason why most of you guys clicked on this video. I feel like everyone just loves their collection and you always want to see what people buy before you go over there because there's so much in that section it's hard to really decide what you want to purchase so hopefully this kind of guides you and gives you an idea of maybe the things that you should be picking up in that area so anyways the first thing that I got of course is foliage because as we know foliage really sets the mood for springtime the first one that I picked up is this beautiful faux rosemary pot and I just love the way this looks it looks super realistic and um, the the pot itself looks very like realistic and aged almost um, and almost like a paper mache look I think kind of like the one that's back there and I just I love the way this looks I love the branches this one might end up going in my kitchen um, just because it is rosemary but I don't know we'll see we'll see where we style this and this one right here was $15 which I think is a great price for the size of this I also picked up another one that's also rosemary. This one was $20, so just $5 more for this guy. And it just looks like this, which I think is also super cute. I actually might end up returning this guy because I don't know, it just doesn't look as realistic as that one. As you can tell, this one has like the brown branches, but then it just like cuts off to green like right away. And I just think that's very, I don't know, almost cheapens the look of this thing. So, I mean, for $20, it's pretty good. I just don't know if I'm loving it yet. Alrighty, you guys might also see the lighting change just because the sun is coming in and out through the clouds. But anyways, the next thing that I picked up is this beautiful threshold jar. And I just love the look of this. It kind of has like a little bit of a brown like tone to it on the, on the like rim of it. And this one obviously opens. It's really, really pretty. It looks like this. I don't think I'm gonna put anything inside of it. I might possibly do like matches or something that I just want to hide honestly this might also be really good just for coin collecting because I do like to add like I don't like carrying coins and I have this jar that's already overflowing so I might use this to collect all my coins to just throw into but this one was $15 and I think this would look beautiful on either my console table back there um I was thinking of putting on the coffee table but because I do have a toddler I don't want to put myself in that situation where he can like throw all these things I typically like to have this as empty as possible so you can tell I just have a magazine on here and honestly that's pretty much about it because it's hard to to decorate when you have kids running around and then the next thing which I think everybody knows about and if you haven't picked this up yet I totally recommend that you should it's just so great to decorate and to style anywhere to be quite honest and it's this beautiful bead garland it's super heavy um, and definitely breakable so not in a place where you can where your kids can reach it but it would go beautifully on a console table or, or you know on a built-in or something but it looks like this and if you don't have kids then kudos to you you definitely put it on a coffee table i think it would look amazing and i think this one was i don't have the tag anymore but i think this one was 30 dollars. and then next up i got a beautiful lumber pillow this one's super cute um it almost has like that like kaleem turkish pillow vibe to it um but it just looks like this very very pretty i love this one so much and i think this one's gonna go here in my formal living room and this one i believe was also like 20 dollars let me pull out the tag really quick so this one was 22 dollars which i think is a great price for these typically i use i see these go for like maybe 35 dollars. so 22 is a pretty pretty good price um and i i just love the look of this and i think integrating a little bit of gray into your decor is also great so i just I love this. I think this is perfect for spring. And then, of course, you can never go wrong with mugs. So I picked up a mug from the Hearth and Hand collection. This one was $4.99, and I just love the way it looks. It says morning sunshine on it, which I think is super cute. And it just looks like this. I love the bottom of it. I think I actually have another one. I'm not entirely sure what it says, but it's the exact same thing. And then the last thing that I picked up from Target is this door stopper, and I had actually seen it. I think like a month ago, but I was like, it's really cool. I just don't know what I would use it for, but we actually did find ourselves using it a lot or having to hold our door open at the garage area because I'm starting to work out and doing some weightlifting and stuff. And like, I wanna keep that garage door open so I can hear the kids while they're sleeping in case they start screaming or they wake up or whatnot. So this is just super helpful to have and it's super stylish as well. So I don't have to have like a paint can against the door or like, 
you know, a laundry basket so that the door stays open, I think this is a great solution. So um, this is just a brass and leather door stop from the Hearth and Hand collection and it was $14.99 and it looks like this. All right, and then I also picked up two very beautiful like aged vintage pieces almost. So I found this like warehouse in San Juan Capistrano and they just have like a bunch of like I don't even know what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but it just have, they have beautiful pieces. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but I picked up this beautiful like milking stool. It looks like this and it's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at how pretty she is. She is beautiful. Um, and she was, I think $35, which I think was such a steal definitely worth the price um and i just i love it so much so i got this guy right here and i think that one's gonna go right here in my formal living room as well where the fireplace is to style in the corner i think that'd be perfect maybe with like a little plant or something i think that'd be really cute and then i also picked up that um paper mache bowl that's back there and this one was also like 35 dollars, and it just looks like this i love the size of it they actually had a ton of different ones um different shapes and stuff as well so I just grabbed one that felt right to me and it looks like this, super pretty. And I think this one's gonna have these, these things in it. I think that would look so pretty if you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to go for there. So now moving along to home goods, I picked up some things there, which I'm super excited to actually DIY as well. Um, but we're gonna start off with the boring stuff. So first off, I picked up a sink cup holder thing. It just holds like your sponge and stuff. I think this is so necessary because right now I have it like where the faucet is, I just have it like sitting on the side and it just looks so funky and ugly. So I think one of these is just super helpful to just have it inside the sink away from the counter, just keep it nice and clean and tidy. So I thought this was just something that I needed um, and it was $3.99. And then I also picked up some kitchen towels because I don't have any for the springtime. I do have, of course, for Halloween, for fall, for Christmas, but I don't have any for this season. So this is just a pack of three of them. I think this is just a very coastal spring vibe that it's gonna give. And then the next thing that I picked up, these I'm actually going to DIY, which I'm a little nervous about, but I do wanna see how they turn out. It's gonna be the exact same thing that I did to this table. And it's just a set of two like wood stands and they look like this. So I'm actually gonna strip these and bring them down to their natural wood color to make them more aged and vintage looking. This set was $12.99, which I think is a great price for two blocks of wood. Also, I picked up two beautiful little like wood boards and these I'm not gonna be using for food or anything. These are simply gonna be for decor only. And I'm also going to strip them to their natural wood color, try to give them that vintage look. And I think it'll be so perfect to lean against the stove. Um, so I picked up this guy and I thought this one was also perfect and appropriate for the situation to kind of lead both of them like this. And once they're like more of a vintage aged look, they're gonna look amazing. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Definitely make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't yet, if you do wanna see that video and how I achieve that look with these two boards that I didn't make myself and I didn't, I didn't pay a fortune for. And then next up, I'm actually really, really excited about these because I love decorative bowls. I love bowls that have like, like patterns to it and the feel to it, almost like the bowls that you'd find in Mexico that have like these beautiful floral designs and, and stuff. And I just, I love it so much. I don't know if maybe it's just my Mexican side of me that just loves patterns and stuff. Um, obviously, I don't think I would ever decorate like that in my home, but I do love it so much. I love embroidered dresses and all of that just for folkloric stuff, I love it. So this kind of screams that folkloric vibe without the color, if you know what I mean. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. Oh my goodness. It is, I wish you guys could feel this. You can feel every, every star. Oh my God. I love it so much. But yeah, this is, this is gorgeous. Oh my God. It is beautiful, this is beautiful. But anyways, I picked this up and this one was, let's see, $13.99 for the set of four, which I think is awesome. So, got this. And then I also, as I mentioned, um, for home goods, I mainly picked up more of like 
kitchen stuff um, and I'm trying to update like the plates that we have and all that I'm getting rid of like the old ones that we had and I want to make sure that all of the stuff that I have is dishwasher safe so I did pick these up and I just love the vibe that it's giving um, so it's just like this beautiful beige it just it has a lot of color to it very different tones of colors um, and I love the rim of it as well so that's what it looks like looks like that super super pretty and I just I love it it looks so natural very earthy um, I'm just like I'm taking a moment here to really take it in it's just like it's gorgeous it's so beautifully made so these were $4.99 each I got four of these guys and they just are these right here so I got four of those and then I also got bowls because of course I wanted some matching bowls and then I didn't get the bigger plates because I do want to have like a different set of plates that for example if I am styling it like on a dining table you want that contrast between the big ones and the small ones I don't like everything to be matching so I only picked up these small ones and this guy to match but then you would do like a different larger one under if that makes sense and they just look like this these were $4.99 and it has the same design to it. And then last but not least, I also picked up some Hobby Lobby foliage. I actually didn't find anything there. Um, I don't know if like Hobby Lobby is switching out their stuff super quickly or I'm just running behind, who knows? It could be one or the other, but they don't have anything to spring. They have some Easter left and they're moving into summer, I think. I don't even know what's going on at that store anymore, but I definitely don't feel like going there because there's just nothing that attracts me. But I picked up some foliage leaves and, and branches and stuff that I think will be perfect to change out, like the olive branches there. And the first one being these guys right here, and they just look like this, which I think is super pretty. It's a very nice muted green, which I love. And these were $9.99 with 50% off, so they were $5 each. And I got four of those. And then of course, we wanna make sure that we are you know, in the spring mood out here. Um, so I picked up some flowers as well, and they just look like this. They're so pretty. These were a dollar each, $2.99, 50% off, so a dollar each. And I just love them so much. Ah, they're so pretty. So I think this would be perfect to style just on their own in a cute little bowl or sorry, in a vase or something. And then the last branches that I picked up from there are these, which I love. I think these really, really spring, scream like spring vibes just because it looks like they're sprouting. Like they're just coming back to life from winter. Um, and I love it so much. So they just look like that. And I don't even think it's gonna focus. Oh, there it is. Um, so they just look like this and they're just so pretty. I'm not sure where I'm gonna be using these yet but I am excited to see what we do with this. But yeah, you guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.